in the second attic and I'm here to collect three things. First one is this big heavy pot and the second thing these really large horseshoes and the third thing are these because I now have a use for them. One, two, three. discover others in time. That's the remains of an old barrel. Okay, three. Until last week we didn't even know we had these um, but I'm going to make use of them hopefully assuming they're strong enough. Uh, the three horseshoes if you watched last week's episode we're going to put Susie had the idea to put them on the stable wall uh, barn two which was a stable um, just to pay homage to the horses that have uh, obviously resided here over the years and you can see how big that one in particular is. And then we discovered this big pot up there uh, a little while ago. We knew it was up there, but um, we just assumed it was a cooking pot and that's possibly what it is. But um, if you remember the episode where we went into the bread oven and we've got the old lavery there, which is the old washing area, washing clothes, etc. There would have been, there was an area for a great big pot and underneath they would have had a fire going boiled some water in it and I'm wondering whether that's actually from the lavery so I'll check on that later but the first task is to get these into use right Susie's bought one of these whirly gig washing line things and I need to dig a hole for it and the bucket marks the spot. So this tool hopefully is going to be the perfect tool. If not, out comes the shovel. Right, that one looks sharper. So let's give it a go. Well, that's worked to treat but I think I might have got lucky because as you can see no big stones <clears throat>
Right, so just go a bit deeper. Um, I'm going to dig another hole because I actually want to cement this in. I'm not planning to move or anything like that, so as far as I'm concerned, it'll be fine. So, and it's just better if you get any strong winds and the washing's up and you've forgotten about it or something, it won't tip over. Right, I've just tidied the hole up a little bit and I've put some gravel at the bottom just to assist for drainage. So any water that gets in there drains past it and underneath it. So I'm going to fill this with some post mix that I've got, tap it all down, check the levels and uh, job done. So I'll let that go off overnight and then we'll have a whirly gig washing line thing. And as for this, brilliant. I've got a few posts to do and of course in our meadow it's surrounded by wooden posts and barbed wire so every now and then you need to replace them so it's going to be perfect. I'm glad I found these, didn't know they were there, never noticed them before. So job done. What a difference um, three or four days of rain makes. A few days ago this was just brown and really dry and we had some real thunderstorms Sunday night and then Monday and uh, Tuesday and Wednesday a few showers on and off. Look how it's greened up. That's just in three or four days. Amazing really. And here's uh, what's left of the herd. I don't know what's happened to the rest of them. We've counted 13 now, and there was originally 24, I think. There's one just there. There's probably one or two behind the shelter. So, no calves. I don't know where they've all gone. Maybe the farmer's just moved half the herd off. Anyway. Looking green again, so that's nice to see. That's what happens when you leave it out overnight. That's the fifth day we've had rain. Fifth day in a row. Brilliant. Anyway, let's get rid of this somewhere. Here we are at the lavery, the lavery part of this building. Um, watch um, episode 8, The Doughboy, if you want to find out a little bit more about it. But basically, there would have been a pot somewhere around here uh, with a fire underneath it. And you see this dome shape here, that would have been to fit the pot. So, just curious, Ooh, it's a bit heavy. It probably would have been up here somewhere. Yeah, it kind of fits. It wouldn't be a snug fit, I don't suppose, but yeah, that does does fit. Um, so it's just possible that this was 
the original pot for the lavery. I guess we won't, we'll never know really, but uh, certainly does fit. So yeah, we'll go with that. Um, what I'll probably do is leave it in here for now. Um, I did suggest to Susie maybe she used it as another planter, and then she said, well, probably got enough at the moment. Um, so we haven't really got any specific plans for here, this this part of the building yet. We are going to restore it. A um, couple of the, our suggestions that we've had is turning it into an outdoor kitchen stroke bar entertainment area. Uh, this would make a great ice bucket. <laughs> um, I we want to get the oven up and running uh, as part of that restoration and uh, maybe have one or two pizza nights or something. Um, but anyway, I think I'll leave it here for now. I know where it is. It's safe here. And uh, we'll come back to that another time. Just notice this uh, great big hook. I wonder what that would have hooked up. Keep finding all this metal work around the place. All around loads of hooks and big rings and stuff. Nice and solid. Right. Okay, talk to me about horseshoe ideas. <laughs> so, we want to pay homage to the horses that uh, were in here. Mm. This was the stable. Yeah. So, the choices are, we put them on this wall, or we put them on these walls. Um, I'd like them on here. Okay. But I'd like this wheel to go down there, the other side of the barn. So we have two wheels, one either side of the barn yeah. there, and that frees up this wall. Yeah. Okay. How do you, we've only got three, so we're limited to what we can do. Do you want them in a line? No. Okay, how do you want them? In a triangle. Okay. So the biggest one at the bottom. Because there's two quite large ones. Yeah. And then there's one slightly oh, yeah. smaller. The two large ones at the bottom, I mean, and then the small one at the top. Okay, so central, uh, so about here somewhere. Yeah. Right. Okay, so I've got to move this rather heavy wheel. Yeah, I'll move out of the way. You better move out of the way, it's very heavy. I've got to move those rocks, actually. Okay, so what Susie's proposing is we take this wheel, and we put it the other side of the barn. Yeah. That wheel is seriously heavy, but it's okay. I'll be able to cope with that. Well, as you can see, I've started parking my van here now. Um, these stones here that I've got to now move actually came from this retaining wall, or most of them did. There might be a few extras here now. So at some point, I'm going to build up this retaining wall again. So I'll just move them to here somewhere, and then I can put the wheel up against the wall there.
Well, you have to ignore all the uh, detritus that's in the actual barn itself. That won't be there forever. And I think that's not a bad place for these wheels. At the end of the day, the hay wain is in there on the back wall and the third wheel right on that back wall. I don't know whether you can see it from here, but I have shown it before. So I guess these wheels are back guarding their spiritual home. All right, let's do this properly. That is... 232, so that's 116. So 116. Here. So I'm going to put the first one here. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Okay, Susie's just giving me the nod, so I'll put the first one up here. Um, there's a couple of holes in them where the nails have been, so I'll probably maybe just try to nail something rather than start drilling. But I suspect this is going to be rock hard. Okay. Right, we'll give it a go. There you are. That's our little tribute to the horses that have been here before. So, here we are, standing by the well, paint roller in hand. What are we doing today? Painting the well. <laughs> this is pure entertainment, this. Right. So, okay, we're going to paint the well. So, you've suggested plum. Mm. Well, that's what it and was gold. before. Well, it's definitely had the same treatment as the shutters, mm. and it's gone through this faded look again, so it's almost the plum we want anyway. So, where's the gold? You mentioned the handle? Um, no, not necessarily. Um, no? Maybe just the rivets. Right, so rivets, rivets, rivets. So, and the top here, plum. Yeah. What about this band? I don't know. Um, I we'll need work to it out as painted. we go. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get a wire brush to it, give it a good clean, uh, degrease it, and then I've mixed the paint, hmm. the plum, and we've got the gold. <coughs> so we can just get on with it. Okay. Perfect. So we've cleaned it, uh, rubbed it down with a wire brush, got all the dust off, cleaned it with a degreaser. You can see the red, the original red coming through as it's wet. Um, that'll soon uh, evaporate the uh, degreaser. So and that's obviously started out life as the colour of the shutters, which I'll just show you. Uh, but eventually, <coughs> excuse me, but eventually they'll fade down to this colour. If this side of the house doesn't get the weather like the other side. No, it doesn't, so. so. They're not as in bad condition as them. 
No, but the well obviously gets exposed. Uh, there's nothing to shelter it really. But uh, <coughs> anyway, we're ready to paint. Mm. It looks like the colour I painted my bedroom when I was young. <laughs> Is that good or bad? <laughs> Some things never change. <laughs> <laughs> So Susie's just doing a few little intricate bits. Uh, the sun's just come out, so I thought, well, I'll just do a little piece here now. Um, this is the first coat, and uh, it's gone on as expected, but we wanted to wait until it dries and then see if we need to adjust it at all, because this is going to be in direct sunlight a lot of the time, and the sun does affect the colour that comes out. Sometimes in shade, it looks more purple, and when it's in the sun it can look uh, more plum or red and so we want to try and get that balance because at the moment it's looking very purple um, which we were expecting so when we do the second coat we might adjust it and put slightly more red in and uh, that will come back to where we want it because at the moment it's looking really purple but obviously it isn't right whilst i'm waiting for that first coat to dry on the well Susie's asked me to drill a couple of holes in these, just for drainage. Well, those were easy, they were plastic. These are terracotta, so anything could happen. Well, that went easily enough, so have another go. And last but not least. So if you ever tried to drill some drainage holes in terracotta, I always use a masonry drill bit and I just take the time really. A uh, couple of minutes per hole, don't put too much pressure on. And then right at the end when it's about to break through, it'll just change sound. Just lift the drill off a bit so you're not pressurising because if, if it goes through and you're pushing down, the drill can then hit the base and crack it. So just take your time really. I found these umbrella palms growing here and it's right by the drain um, so they're getting well watered because the drain's not connected yet all the water from the kitchen just pours out onto the grass here yeah it's a little job we've got to sort out <laughs> we've done the we've run the pipe work but we just got to connect it together so okay um, so what is this an umbrella plant an umbrella palm Umbrella and because palm. I because I fence that off because of the dogs and the water, the drain. Um, I haven't cut anything back, so they have started growing. Okay, so we're going to plant them up. <coughs> right, so I'll dig them out for you. Yeah, we didn't know they were there. No. Right. 
Well, that didn't take long. Nice and wet there. Yeah. <laughs> Little job we've got to sort out. They obviously like the water. They obviously like will be well watered. So, okay, so you're going to pot those up. Yeah. Perfect. And here it is, second coat of the plum and a little bit of the gold embellishments. The end of the handle there, up there, and all the little rivets on the roof. So we haven't gone too OTT with the gold, less is more. And that's what it looks like, and we're quite happy with that. And you'll notice... Um, Lots of the rosemary has disappeared since you um, you last joined us. <laughs> um, and the reason for that is um, Susie now loves the well so much, she wants to be able to see it from our bedroom window. And the rosemary that's here blocks the view. So what we're going to do is there was a gap here that allows us in with the lawnmower, etc. So what we're going to do is plant some rosemary here and then this will be our entrance with the lawnmower, etc. So, anyway. So we're happy with that. And it is definitely plum. We don't do purple. Well, hope you like that. Um, we decided for the less is more approach on the gold. Um, we have considered painting these two end strips gold um jury's out on that one but uh we didn't want to go over the top with the gold but we're liking the plum that's yeah. come up nice Turn, turned it down a bit yeah it was a little bit bright uh, it gets a lot of light here whereas um, doors and windows they're, they're often in the shade so we just toned it down a touch uh, compared to the door and the windows that we've done but we're we're quite happy, aren't we? Do you think we should paint this hook for the bucket? The hook for the bucket. Because um, it has been painted at some point. Yeah, we could add to that. <clears throat> what do you think? Paint it. Paint the hook. Do we do the gold strips or leave them? <laughs> we'll leave that to you. And then we've <laughs> got the other well to do. And the other well, there's the handle on the pump, isn't there, yeah. you want to paint. So we'll get around to that and those railings. Um, yeah. But anyway, next thing is to research pumps and then that's going to be a working well. So we're happy with that. Yeah. And uh, <coughs> thank you to Tina from Minnesota uh, for buying us a coffee this week. Thank you, Tina. And thank you. your message said you love our videos. So thank you. We're glad you're enjoying them. And thank you to everybody who watches as usual. And um, yeah, subscribers still going up. We're averaging about 70 or 80 new subscribers every week, which we're quite happy with. So, yeah, that's good. And uh, hopefully we're doing something right. And yes, so it's very interesting about the lavoir and the pot. We think it's probably original to the lavoir. We do have a reference in that our friends over the road have a lavoir and they've got their original pot and it's remarkably similar in shape and size. So we think that is the original, don't mm. we? Well, <clears throat> they've demolished um, a lot of the stonework in there, so yeah, we can't see if it fits. But. Well, we've got the the um, arch of the wall, mm. and it fits in there, so we're we're happy. Mm. We're we're going to believe it's the original, whether it is or not. Yeah. But uh, so yeah, busy old week again, and lots going on <coughs> next week. Oh, yeah. Here we go, dogs are barking. <laughs> 
And so we shall see you... Wednesday. Wednesday. Bye. Bye.